Yeah. Stickers. Driver's backrest. Hell yeah. Let's pull this thing out and see what it looks like. Oh, nice packaging. Instructions. Holy shit. You got colored pictures on these. That's nice. figure out how to fold these get all this together. And it's obviously child proof. All types of Individually packaged. Oh man, yeah. that thing's heavy. Uh, and it looks like it's hinged to slide forward. Now, let's uh, pull the KX65 out of the way and pull the Ultra around and put all this stuff on. Get this backrest installed. First thing we need to do is remove this seat off the Ultra. Get your Phillips head screwdriver, and I don't know if you can see it down in there. Eh, you're not gonna be able to see it. There is a Phillips head screw down in there that you have to take out in order to get this thing off. Got the seat off. Well, I had to take an extra screw out of here for that strap that went across the back seat. God damn, this is dirty. Oh. With this kit, it comes with two different mounting kits. Or mounting brackets. Oh. There's this one for 09 and later. And then this one for 08 and earlier, so we aren't going to need that. So let's open this thing up and start disassembling this. We got to take these two Torx head bits out that hold your ECU in place. So that bracket just goes underneath the tabs for your ECU and installs just like that.
snug everything down. That way you make sure it's not going anywhere. I'm going to pull the two nuts off here on both sides. Run a carriage bolt through the bracket and the receiver. It's just on there loose. I'm going to uh, test fit the seat a couple of times and uh, get it where I get it where I want it. They put these four holes in it, so you can adjust it to wherever you need it. So I'll jump back to the time lapse. You can see me pull the seat on and off, on and off, on and off. Everything fine-tuned and tightened down and all the brackets adjusted and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the seat on and put the backrest in and show you the final product. But uh, some things with this kit. See how I've got it on the fourth hole here. I'm a pretty tall guy and I assumed that I would have to have it you know here on the second hole but I got it all the way on the fourth hole I mean I guess it all depends on where you want it to be at but and then I had to use these adjustment screws there's another one down in here I don't know if you can see it or not but to kind of angle it forward even more so I mean this kit's nice and I think it's gonna work but I uh, wasn't expecting to have it all the way down like that so something to think about if you're looking at this kit oh, and it's gonna taking it on and off as many times as I did kind of tore the seat up so, well let's get the seat back on there and get it all tightened down and all come back and show you guys the finished product And there it is. That's this uh, Kiriakin driver's backrest. There's plug-in backrest. I'll uh, post a link to it in the description. But uh, I ordered this from Revzilla, and their shipping is super fast. And I was very impressed with how fast they got it to me. So, tilt it back. There's a little pocket back there that's just velcroed on. I mean, 
It's nice. Looks nice. Look, looks like it belongs on the bike, you know. But like I said, I'm just surprised that I had to adjust it to sit as far forward as what I did. It's uh, could be because of the bike. I know other ones that I've seen that are adjustable like that. You know, they didn't have them that far forward, but they were older model bikes too. So I'm just going to assume it's something to do with the bike and not necessarily the kit, but now I just need this damn weather to warm up and we'll uh, be able to test it, give you guys a review of it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Now we get to put our stickers on the beer fridge. You know what time it is.